Okay, I'm here to present about the geology and the mineral sources of Tanzania. So the geology of Tanzania cover the whole season of time from Precambrian to Paleozoic. And the Precambrian time is mainly we have this the metamorphic and intrusive rocks. And the Paleozoic time we have the sedimentary rocks and the volcanic rocks. So at Akan time, we have the Tanzania Platon, which is being divided into three super groups. This is the Roman, Nyanzian, and the Cambronian super groups. And uh, most of these have been covered by high plate intermorph logs, as well as the low plate terrains, which are the green stone belts. So the Paleozoic time, Proterozoic time, this is from the Paleoproterozoic time to near Proterozoic time. In Paleoproterozoic time, we have the mobile belts, which are Median and the Sagaran belts. In Mesoproterozoic time, we have this Calagon Korean and the Mokoban supergroups. As well as near Proterozoic time, we have the Pan African, or in Tanzania, we say it is the Mozambique belt, as well as this Nagas platform. So during this Paleozoic time, I said we have a lot of food positioned from the basin, and mainly we have this the Karu basin, which is from the upper Carboniferous to the Jurassic time. In the coastal marine basin, also we have them, which are mid Jurassic to present time, but also we have the intrusions, and mainly we have this. Uh, Kimberlites and the carbonatites. In tertiary time, we have the formation of the East Africa lift system, which is mainly associated with the lifting, sedimentation, as well as volcanism. So, this is the map of Tanzania, whereby this red or the pink color, this is the craton, where we have the high grade metamorphic rocks as well as low grade metamorphic rocks together with the intrusions. And this part here we have the Paleoproterozoic belt and these are Ubendian. This one is the Paleoproterozoic rocks where it is covered by Sagaran and then the whole entire this one, this is the Neoproterozoic time where we have the Mozambique belt. And this part here, the western side of the pattern, we have the male, uh, the Mesoproterozoic time, this is the Korean and the, the Mukoban supergroups. So, starting with the Archean time, I said we have the pattern, and uh, here, these are the greenstone belts, which are the Mesoproterozoic time, and uh, this one. These are the, the basement rocks where we have the high grade metamorphic rocks as well as the intrusions. So, this greenstone bed has been spread by intrusive rocks, like you see they are trading this direction. And then also, this one is the Neo Archean time where we have the Musoman group, which is called the Cameroonian supergroups. So, the greenstone over here, they are very rich in gold mineralization as well as the copper and the other mineral which are associated with this sulfide materials. Because the formation of this greenstone belt is associated with the back arc basin. So, this year, some of mechanized gold mines which are found within the Minnesota belt. So we have the Beita gold mine which is the very very giant gold mine in Tanzania and we have the Bunyamuru, we have the Jubilee Reef and the Buzwag and this is the Golden Pride. So all of them that are found within the, this, the Greenstone belt. So the Greenstone belt is very, very associated with the gold mineralization of Tanzania. The Paleoproterozoic terrains, I say we have the two 
this is Romanian and this one is in Osagaran. So the Romanian is formed due to collision between the Banguel block and the, the Tanzanian pattern. And this is due to formation of the big supercontinent which is called in the Columbian supercontinent during the Paleo-Portuguese time. And the formation of this median is due to closure of the ocean. So we have the ocean here between the Banguel block and the Tanzanian pattern. So due to that collision, we have the closure of this ocean and this one can be seen due to the presence of the, this echolite blocks. So you can see we have the echolites here, which they justify the presence of the ocean. But also we have the periodontite intrusions. So these are the blocks within this Ubedian, and these blocks are separated by either the faults or the shear. And uh, within this area, we have rich in the gold mineralization, but also a lot of gold. Gold are uh, from here, but also due to presence of the ocean and due to subduction process, then we have a lot of intrusions which are mafic to intramafic intrusion. So these intrusions are associated with the, the presence of uh, metal metal like the nickel, the tin, the palladium, or the platinum group metals that are associated with the, the mafki to tramafki intrusions, together with the presence of uh, the iron metals. So this is the mineralization of gold within the area. So the gold are associated with these melanite blocks, but also they are found within the structures, the shear zone, and you can see within the veins, the past veins, the gods are formed within the sulfide materials like the pyrite, the chuck pyrite, the galena. So these are associated with the mineralization of gold within the area. Another paleoclimatic page, I say this is the Usagan. So the Usagan also is formed due to closure of the ocean, and this can be justified by the presence of Eclogites. But due to this collision, we have also the volcanism. And uh, we form the back arc basin due to extension from the craton. As you have seen, it is bonded by Tanzania craton at the western side. So we have the basin. This is the back arc basin, and it is called the Mkonze group. And then we have the high plate metamorphic rocks, which are reaching to granite fascia, and this are reaching, you see, the, the very rich with this gemstone minerals. So this is the way we have the collision, the closure of the ocean, then we have the echo guides, which are being formed there, and this is the cross section to the craton. This is the craton. So you can see we have this here back arc basin where we have the sedimental rocks, but also we have the volcanics, which is in the bed of volcanics, also it is which is gold. And these are high metamorphic rocks from the pollution, and these are the intrusions. And this is the general geology of our area. So you can see these are the metal rocks and then the rest we have the high grade metamorphic rocks which are rich to granite machine. And then you can see this here thrust which testify the collision impact. This is the thrusting system. So the general mesuration is when we have the volcanic area we are we have this kind of mineralization most are the metals, and uh, this is the four arc basin where we are able to form the red, zinc, and the copper. But also, we have the iron kind of metal from the area. 
So this is the Meso project time. I say it is formed at the western part of Tanzania Cotton, and uh, this is found within the Kibaran Belt. In Tanzania, we say it is Kalabu and Korean, and also we have this the foreign basin, which is Bukoban Super Group. So due to that correlation, we have a lot of intrusions, and these are the mafic to tramaf intrusion. So they are very rich with the nickel as well as the platinum minerals. But also we have the granitic intrusions. This granite, they are very rich with the tin mineralization within the area, but also due to weathering of this granite, we are able to form the uranium depositing along the area. So the Bukoban, which is here, this is the rocks over here, the sedimental rocks from the sandstones, shells, but also this is the limestone and the stomatolite rocks. So we have the Pan-African at the eastern part of this Tanzania plateau. So we say this is an Africa origin and for the part of Tanzania, we say this is the Mozambique belt. So it is formed due to accretion process during the Rodinian time, where we have the collision between the eastern Gondwana and the western Gondwana to form this pan African origin. So, also, it is associated with the closure of the Mozambique Ocean. So we have the closure due to this collision. So we have the Mozambique Ocean over here has been closed due to this collision. And due to this closing of the ocean, we have the formation of high grade metamorphic rocks and the mainly they are from the meta elites origin. So we form the granite fascine. And this is associated with the mineralization of gemstone minerals. So we have the gemstone like in the Tanzanite, we have the ruby, sapphire, emerald. So we have a lot of gemstone along this area. But also because it's reached to high grade metamorphic fascine, then we are able to form the graphite also in here. So you can see this is the granite fascine within the Mozambique belt. So the final zoic time, I said this is the, we have the Karoo lifting, and due to this lifting, we form the Karoo formations, mostly on the basin. So you see this on the basin, and this one on the basin. So we form the Karoo basin, and this basin, they are very, very rich with the formation of core mineralization. So we have the core in this area, and also we have the core within this Nyasa corridor. So you can see these are the core seams, which are found within the area, and these are the Karoo time. So these are the core seams. Also within the Karoo, we have the uranium mineralization. You can see these uranium are formed within the sandstone with the process which is called the raw fronting process. We have the Cretacea formation and uh, we have the carbonatite rocks during this Cretaceous time. So you can see they are very, very associated with the rifting. So we have the carbonatite as the seal but also as the dikes. So they form within the rift. So we have this at the Karoo rifts within this area, but also we have the Neogen time lifting, which is the East Africa rift. So you see the carbonatite rocks. So these carbonatites are very rich with this rare earth element together with the uranium. And in Cretaceous time, also we have the formation of kimberlite pipes. And these kimberlites are within the Kraton of Tanzania. And within the Tanzania, we have more than 200 kimberlites. So we have the diamondiferous kimberlites, like this one of Madui, and we have the non diamondiferous kimberlites. But most of them are rich with this zircon minerals. So we have the Neogen rifting. I say we have the East Africa rift system, 
training from the Afa point of Ethiopia to Malawi. So this is the East Africa. So in Tanzania we have two branch. So this is the Eastern branch and we have the Western branch. So the Eastern branch is very active with this volcanic eruption and this is the northern part of Tanzania where we have the northern volcanic province. So we have in this side here we have the Kilimanjaro, the Meru, then we have the Ondoyongai which is the active volcano and the Morongoro crater area. So this is from the Neum liquid elevation model that so this is the summary of uh, the mineral which are found in Tanzania. You can see we have a lot of minerals. Yeah? We have a lot of mineral in Tanzania. So in Carton, we have a lot of gold, the copper, the found within the Carton. And uh, this is the Mozambique belt, which is granite machine. So within this area, we have a lot of gemstone minerals. And here we have the gemstone together with the gold, copper, and this see the iron metals within this Ubedian belt. And here we have the Karu supergroup rocks where we have the uranium together with the, the coal and also the barite minerals. So this is the geothermal source you can find in Tanzania. They are very, very associated with the East Africa Rift. So these are the geothermal sites, and also this area we have a lot of geothermal sites. But we have the tertiary basin. This basin we have the discover of gas in here within the Mandawa basin. But also we have a lot of oil seeps within the area which is the good symptom that we have also oil resources in Tanzania. So this is the natural attractions for tourism and see this is the active volcano which is called the Odojengai. Around the area we have a lot of wildlife animals. You can see this is the saline lake the shallow lake, most, the deepest part is almost three meters, and it is rich with this saline minerals, and then we have this kind of uh, flamingos over there, which is very close to Ordonyongai mountain. And this is the Meru volcanic mountain, whereby we have this wildlife, life, and then here we have the Arusha National Park. So this is me. From the field, we come from the ordinary line here. Then now we are done just to have a rest after this excursion. And uh, myself here climbing the mail, which is 4.5 kilometers, and uh, here I am at the summit. So thank you for listening.